Here we have Bobby trying to get her dinner for the night. Are you excited, Bobby? I am very excited. I'm surprised, I must say. But in a good way. Bobby and I just landed in Kauai. I'd like to show you our vehicle and our house for the next five days. This is our vehicle and this is our house. That's all I've ever wanted. So we need to find a place to stay for the night. In the truck we have Dang, a cooler. Everything. We have a ton of stuff. So I think the first thing that we should probably do is hit the grocery store. Last time we were in Hawaii, Bobby and I discussed doing this exact thing, same thing. Where do you shower? And where do you poop? Hmm. Let's hit the road. Step one. We're at Safeway. And we need to buy, what's on your list? Ice, water, creamer, and eggs. We're gonna have to think like camping. We, we can't necessarily bring what we bring in a normal kitchen. Good morning, friends. So this here was our camping spot for last night, right on the beach here in the North Shore of Kauai. The Nepali coast is right down there. And this is the Tacoma that we rented. This thing pops up. I'll put a little, little photo on the screen, but right now Bobby and I got some coffee brewing up. It's pretty cool when you rent this thing, they give you pretty much everything that you need so you don't have to go shopping for stuff like this. So here we got the Coleman fired up with pots and pans, heating the coffee, and Bobby's gonna make some joe with the French press. The very first thing we're doing on our trip, the most intense thing you could possibly do on Kauai. You ready for this 22 mile hike? Is that what it is? Yep. Our hike didn't go very well. Long story short, there's like this five foot rock thing that I slid down, tried to catch myself, dislocated my left shoulder, and that was like four miles in. And it hurts, I can't move it. And I hear it's four to five months for it to heal. But it looks like I'm just gonna cut off my shoulder and become a surfer boy. Now when I talk about a picture perfect beach, this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm sure you guys saw the title of the video. A little bit anxious I would say, but I'm excited. Today is the big day. I wonder if she knows. It's all planned out. Jared's flying out here. I think he's already here somewhere on the island. And he's gonna be getting all the photos for this proposal. And it should be fun. I hope Bobby doesn't somehow come across this clip before tonight. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Long time in the long time in the making, you could say it's been seven and a half years. Safe to say it's been a little too long. I did leave it up to Jared to find the proper location. I told him kind of what I wanted, a beach. Honestly, this would have been perfect, but um, a beach setting. And then I had to order a 600 millimeter lens and give me hopefully like at least half a mile away so Bobby don't see it. Otherwise, it's gonna be spoiled. So Bobby and I came to the south side of the island now and we have dinner reservations here in 30 minutes. But then we found this excellent rock that we're gonna go hang out on for 15 minutes. Also, look how cute Bobby looks. <laughs> Okay, update time. Bobby <laughs> is now engaged to Devin. 
Would you like to tell them the funny story of what just happened? <laughs> no, you can. Okay, so I pulled out the box and asked Bobby to marry me and then she looked at me like I was dumb because there was no ring in the box. <laughs> <laughs> no, my first thought was he's pranking me. That's what I thought. It was I like, this is a joke. And I instantly like got straight faced. Confused and then I looked and there's no ring. And then about five minutes later we find the ring laying on the rocks. So somehow when I opened the box, it went flying and neither of us saw it. But I got what is called a placement ring because we were on vacation and traveling. And I was worried that it was going to get lost like it just did. I have one more surprise for you. Look behind you. I'm surprised you oh said yes. <laughs> Seriously? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is that where you're waving to across the mountain? I was flipping them off here and there. <laughs> I didn't even notice. No, I literally I had, so I swear I had an idea that he was somewhere. Really? Yes, because when you're giving me a hug, I, you're like doing something. <laughs> Well, Jared's here. Look at his lens. Oh. <laughs> this is what I was it's like a telescope. <laughs> yeah. It is. Who is this on? It's Devin's. You got that just for the trip? See, look, this was when you guys first showed up. And you, you just got there in these. And then, let's see. Did you see the people behind us? <laughs> yeah. I had to wait a while. Let's see. Talking to you here. Here, I'll get all this out. That's crazy. And then I just got a flood <laughs> everywhere. Hi, Beyonce. So, Bobby and I are at the airport again. We were supposed to go home today, but here's the scoop it was a little rainy fly, so now we're gonna fly to Oahu. They have glorious ring shops there that we're gonna go find Bobby's real. Engagement ring out. We tried the only place in Kauai and she didn't like any of them, and I thought they were all bummy as well. So now we're gonna go to Oahu for what, three days? Yeah, three days. Are you excited for that so spur excited. of the moment? So excited. We tend to do this on every trip, so I need to just stop buying the return flights because, you know, it's a waste of money. But I'm excited. Kauai was very, very rainy. It was still nice. It is very rainy. Very. Can I order for you? What? Can I order for you? What are you gonna get, Haas? I'm gonna get a grilled chicken quesadilla. Sounds so good. Car of choice that Bobby picked us up is, of course, none other than a little Subaru. <sighs> and just like we're in good old Gary. What is this thing, Willis? It's a, I think it's like a 2021 Subaru Cross Track. She got a turp ski? Highly doubt it. But it's fair. It's a nice car for 40 bucks a day. <sighs> it's 40 bucks a day because by the time you get here, it takes another eight hours <sighs> to get it. Okay, 46 minutes away. Here to pull. Judging about by how high she is revving. 8,000 miles. She's brand new. Hey, steel buildings that can build out. Well. Cheers to Hawaii again. Cheers to Oahu. Headed to Waikiki Beach. We haven't been here since Haley and Cameron's wedding. Spotted. Cute. Aspen White. Hawkeye. On none other than ZE40s. All right. Not blue gunmetal ZE40s. Not really a good spec. They look like a 17 by 7 and a half, 45. Nonetheless, the E40 is a Z40. A graphite gray 9. Never seen that. S slightly discolored front fender. <laughs> other than that, other than the oxidation on the rear door, it looks like it's in great shape. If you'd like to sell it, please let me know.
Hello, my friends. Good afternoon. It is two weeks to the day since we left, and we are finally back home. Very, very excited to be back home. I wish I was still in Hawaii. It was pretty nice. So in total, we went to Oahu, we went to Kauai, we went to Maui. The whole reason for going to Oahu, like I said, was to find the exact ring that Bobby and I wanted. Unfortunately, after going to every single ring store in Hawaii, it seems that um, we couldn't find the exact one. And that's okay because I got it sorted. So it's all taken care of. I'm excited for that. Excited to be back home. And I just wanted to say I apologize for the terrible audio on this video. When I started editing, I was just going to scrap the whole thing. But it's such an important and memorable video for me that I really wanted to just get it done, get it uploaded. And I tried to make the audio as best as I could. But of course, with my mics being dead in Hawaii and all the wind, it kind of ruined everything. So it is what it is. But I really wanted to get it up on the channel not only because it's special to me and of course special to Bobby, but I wanted to be able to look back on this video in like 10 years, you know, 20 years and just remember the beautiful moment, beautiful moment Bobby and I got engaged. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know there's two videos back to back with no car stuff, but hey, we're back home and time to go back to work, man. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, of course, we got engaged like a week ago now, so it was the 25th, and t a ton of you guys already reached out and congratulated us, and I appreciate it. Long time in the making, man. Seven and a half years we've been together. Cheers to another 75. Goodbye.